Donna, Juana, Iguana, Rana. Hey! You're gonna wanna try Donna's iguana in fried piranha. What am I saying? It's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Hello, my darling. Till now? It is I, Cecil B. DeBuzz. Lights, camera, action! Buzz, what are you doing? Presently, a murder she wrote, two episodes of Hello, Larry, and a guest spot on Arsenio Hall. I mean, why the get-up? Why not? But I am very busy. I'm rehearsing for my TV commercial. Exactly why I'm here. I knew you would need a great, he said modestly, director. I didn't know you were a director. Who do you think was the dialogue coach for Charlie Chaplin? Chaplin was in silent movies. Exactly why I passed on the job. I know you're trying to help, but they already have a director at the studio. Oh, oh now don't be sad. Oh. Buzz, I'm sorry. Maybe we can do lunch. Frankly, Miss Donna, I don't give a damn. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to think about that tomorrow. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, let's see, let's see. We cater parties from birthdays to bar mitzvahs. We serve good food, and our olives have no pizzas. <laughs> Hi, honey. Remember that jingle we heard on the radio? You mean, hey, Buffalo, don't sing it. I'm jinxed with it. Evie, calm down. Tell me what you're talking about. Right. We were at the goody-goody, Chris and Zimi. We were talking, and just like that, bang, those two crazy-looking ladies popped into the room singing that stupid song. It must have been some sort of involuntary gleep. Well, now, Evie, relax. So obviously, something has gone wrong with one of your powers. Let's see if we can figure it out. What were the three of you talking about? Actually, my retainer. Yeah, by the way, it looks very nice. <laughs> I mean, I can't even see it at all. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mom. Well, Chris was talking, and Lindsay said that he had a big mouth. Hey, Buffalo friend, is that what they call you? When you shoot the breeze, do your friends go? Something is triggering your gleeping mechanism. Tell me what else the three of you were talking about. Well, they did all the talking. I never even opened my mouth. Hey, Buffalo Breath, when you open your mouth. It seems that every time you say the word mouth, do the leaves turn brown and birds fly south? <laughs> That's it. That's it. That must be the word. <laughs> oh! Hey! Thanks, Mom. You solved it. Well, that's okay, sweetheart. That's what a mother's for. We just can't say the word mouth. Just try some of that, and you're sure to be a hit. Hide in the kitchen. That would drive me nuts. So, what's causing it? I'll have to consult with Professor Bob. But in the meantime, don't say that word. And honey, be sure to keep your retainer in your mouth. Hey, Buffalo friend, is that what they call you? Dad, you said the word. I'm sorry. I'll never say the word retainer again. <laughs> Retainer, it's mouth. When you 
Honey, cheer up. Your father will take care of everything. Until he does, we just can't see the word mow wow wow wow. <laughs> mow wow wow. Now, there's a word you don't hear every day. Oh, come on, your father will fix it. By the way, how's the retainer doing? Oh, it's the love of my life. <laughs> you want straight teeth, don't you? Yeah, I guess. Oh, can I take my retainer out of my. Mow wow wow wow? <laughs> Very good. Yes, you can. Well, I better get busy on my commercial. I am on in three hours. Oh. Oh, I'll get it. It's probably Chris. Okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, look, Evie, I'm really sorry about what I said at the goody goody. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I don't care if you're wearing a retainer. You don't? No. I like you no matter what. You could be wearing a coat hanger in your mouth. <laughs> don't say it. Say what? Uh... Moth. <laughs> moth? Yeah. There's one flying around in here, and I don't want him to fly into your... your, uh... My mouth? No. Uh, your oral cavity. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's that thing under your nose. <laughs> There's nothing under my nose. Shut my mouth. No! <laughs> hey! They're gone. <laughs> Who's gone? The moth? Yeah, that's it. Well, I'll see you later, Chris. I gotta go find them. Nothing I hate more than a missing moth. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> She is way too attached to her pets. Hey, Mom, they're gone. The jingle singers are gone. Listen. Mouth. <laughs> See? Dad must have fixed it. Mouth. 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 <laughs> You're great. Right. Well, I've got to get my mouth down to the studio. I finally finished my commercial. Wow. My mom, the star of her own commercial. Yeah. Just like Liz Taylor. Yeah. Linda Evans. Yeah. And the Tidy Bowl Man. <laughs> Just kidding. The Tidy Bowl Man was much taller. Oh, cute. Cute. Just for that, you have to put your retainer back in. Oh, come on, Mom. I only had it out for a minute. In that minute, your teeth have moved a smidgen. What's a smidgen? About three hundred dollars. Come on, let's go. Put it back in. I'm late. Come on, come on. Evie. Evie. Antares to Earth. Hello, Evie. Hmm. I guess she's going out. I better leave a message. Evie, I called to warn you. The involuntary gleep comes from the material in your retainer. Don't wear it until I give you further instructions. I repeat, don't put the retainer in your... Well, you know, the place where you stuff all the junk food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 